is a choose your own adventure part 44 DUI edition. So if you've had a little bit to drink, you're under the limit, but the cop asked you, how much have you had to drink tonight? And you said, no, not a thing officer, nothing. And then he asked you, just so I know that you're good to drive, would you mind stepping out for a field sobriety test? And you decline. You do not want to be doing the parade out in front of the car. So then he asked, would you mind blowing his portable breathalyzer? Would you also politely decline? If you had a drink anywhere in the night, you definitely, once you tell him, no, you haven't been drinking, you don't want to prove that you had. So no to the field sobriety test, no to the breathalyzer. So now he hasn't really had much interaction to start his investigation. You should be asking, am I being detained? Am I free to go? He's got to make a decision. Now, if you haven't shown him signs of intoxication, the way you hand your license, slurring your speech, then he really does have to let you go. Now, what a lot of people do after they've had a few drinks and they're nervous, they start yapping, getting their lips flapping, and that gives him more and more and more evidence. The more you talk, the more you discuss, the more you give, if you are in talk, he's gonna know. That's what they're trained for. So, if you don't offer a lot of information, if you're not doing much, congratulations. You made it home tonight in your car and not in the back of a police car.